and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be predicting the Mud Heroes promo, what to expect, what I, how I expect them to run it, and all my player predictions for every single team in the NFL that I think will be getting a player. Now, typically, it's all 32 teams get one player. And there's repeats of positions, depending on the position, obviously. So uh, I'm going to be going over this. I'm, I didn't pick the players based on a full team set. Like, okay, there's only going to be one quarterback. I kept it in mind. I didn't pick too many quarterbacks, too many wide receivers, too many different positions. But I didn't entirely do it like that because if I did it like that, pretty much, if I'm not right, I get all of them wrong. Like, if any, if even a few are off, I'm going to get all of them wrong. If I only pick two or three cornerbacks and then none of them get it, I'm all wrong now because I, did, I neglected one at another team that looked quite obvious. Now, some of these players came off as at least a little more likely than others because some of them might be the only elite on their team. Some might be the only guy worth an upgrade. Some are harder, like the Cowboys, who literally have like five eligible players, such as Byron Smith, Ezekiel Elliott, Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, and I'm probably even forgetting someone, Byron Jones. There's so many options there, so some of them are harder. I gave you guys my best predictions of who I think should get them, and if they come to me during the video, I'll even give you some of the honorable mentions that I did think could have been in line also. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. We're grinding to 9K. Turn on that noti bell. Make sure to comment down below. Two things, actually. Comment down below your predictions for Mud Heroes, like who you think is guaranteed to get a card. And also, how much did Melvin Gordon cost to power up all the way to his 94 overall? Kind of thinking about it. Now, also drop a like on the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Now, let's get into this. So, first thing, I'm pretty sure based on the stream yesterday that Prelo did announce that Mud Heroes will be dropping next week. Most likely next Friday. He typically, he, he, well, he technically hinted at it. But we kind of saw this coming anyways. I've been telling you guys it's going to be either the first week of October or the last few days of September. And at this current time rate, it's going to be sometime next week, which I don't know if it'll be like the 5th, the 4th, the 6th, somewhere between there. Kind of a calendar on me. But anyways, how I expect this promo to go, it's going to be like a standard. It's our first big promo. I, see, I think it's going to be standard. A set of solo challenges, sets for the players, some collectibles, and potentially a free player. Now, the way they ran it last year was that we did not get a free player from the solos. Well, we didn't get any free player. They gave us a certain amount of free players that went into sets, and we were able to finish the set. So, I remember last year, I got enough Kyle Fuller 84s. Because, by the way, there wasn't collectibles last year. It was 84 overall players or 83 overall, like, sidekicks. There's heroes and there's sidekicks. So, you have to put sidekicks into a collection to get the heroes. So, last year, I think it gave us, like, seven free sidekicks. And then to get... The Chiefs, um, the Chiefs one, which I did, was Eric Berry, 92 overall. To get him, I needed, like, eight Kyle Fuller. So, I got, like, let's say six for free. I had to go buy an extra two, which wasn't that bad of a deal. But, again, I don't know how they run it. Unless this year, maybe they give us a house rules for a free one. Maybe that would be a cool idea. We might probably get a house rules for some free sidekicks. I don't know if they'll give us sidekicks again. But that's the way they typically have always run Mutt Heroes. Now, I would hope that the solo sequences, they're going to be easy, quick, probably no more than three hours. Typically, that's how those run. And I imagine that we'll probably get some house rules and even some objectives to get some more free stuff. But they've never typically given us a free Mud Hero. But they have given us enough pieces to make close to a Mud Hero. So if they at least do that, it probably should cost you no more than 120k to make any of these Mud Heroes. Especially the ones that are worse. Like, some of them are better and some of them are worse. They cost more sidekicks than others. Obviously, you guys all come, they all come when the time comes to see all that. Me personally, a few players I expect from this. I'm going to be going into it in a second. But... This list is kind of long, obviously. It's 32 teams, so I can't spend too much time on each. But I will go over as much as I can as far as the team. So I started off with the Cardinals, obviously. I can't go through all of them. I have to speed up some of them because if I went through all of them, it would be like 20 minutes. I started with the Cardinals. Let's go to Elite. The first guy I picked for the Cardinals. It was, it was a few guys that I think were worthy of it. Fitzgerald is definitely one of the options. But I inevitably went with David Johnson. So David Johnson only has an 82 overall base elite. Doesn't have any other cards in the game yet. And David Johnson is obviously one of the leaders of this team minus Kyler Murray. But I do not imagine they'll give Kyler Murray a mutt hero at this time. It'd just be unlikely and out of unorthodox for EA to go that route. So I think David Johnson is definitely in line for a card. Now I did the Falcons next on this list. I don't know. I found this list on NFL.com. So it's going to be probably out of order. Although it probably shouldn't have been. Now for the Falcons. I, I was thinking about Devonta Freeman. He's definitely an option. But I ended up going with Deion Jones, wherever that guy is. Deion Jones right here. He only has an 83 overall. He's always a fan favorite, so I had to imagine that he'd be getting some kind of card at some point in the game. 
And Deion Jones card just kind of feels right for this kind of promo. Now for the Ravens, I end up going with, again, another few guys that I thought about, but it couldn't have been Mark Ingram, right? Because he just got a card. Lamar Jackson just got a card. I couldn't see Tony Jefferson or Marlon Humphrey. Did I say Jefferson? Jefferson. So I end up going with a guy. Well, Marshall Yondo was an honorable mention. I did think potentially he's one of them, but he has a heavyweights card. So I ended up going with Earl Thomas as soon as I could find him. 86 overall, Earl Thomas. I think it's about right, too. Earl Thomas, new guy in the Ravens. He seems like the perfect guy to give a really high zone to. Because if you guys don't know, Mud Hero cards are like that. They typically give every player like one crazy stat, like carrying of superpower, or hit power, superpower. So I think Earl Thomas can get the one for the Ravens. Now for the Bills, the guys that I thought might get it got a card yesterday. Like Tredavious White already got a card yesterday. I think it'll be Micah Hyde. Micah Hyde seems like the clear front runner for this. I don't know if he got one last year, but I think he'd be right in line for one. Has not gotten a better card. This card's kind of ass too, so he could use an upgrade. Now, next on this list, we got the Panthers. Now, the Panthers, I want to say Christian McCaffrey, but he already has that limited time card. I was thinking about Greg Olson, but I feel like that's not as flashy as I'd like. Gerald McCoy, I don't know. I think, I mean, I want to go with the fans here. I want to say Cam Newton. The odds of it are unlikely, but I'm hoping so. A Cam Newton card would be pretty cool. He has, a, this card's disgusting. I don't think anyone would ever use this card, or at least even uses it now. So, I think he's in line for an upgrade. Typically, they save Cam Newton cards for, like, Team of the Weeks and other things. But it'd be cool if they gave us one for the Mud Heroes promo. Now, for the Bears, let's see, we got, on my list, I picked Kyle Fuller. So, originally, I was thinking, like, maybe Cohen, but didn't seem likely. Allen Robinson is definitely a runner, but I think Kyle Fuller would be the perfect, uh, the, the perfect, I cannot speak this morning. I think he'd be the perfect fit. Good stats. I think a Kyle Fuller card would definitely be beastly if they gave us a new one, and I think he's right in line. When you think of the Bears, you think of their defense, so I feel like a defensive player will get it. Now, for the Bengals, I think Joe Mixon will be one of the few halfbacks that we get a card for. He hasn't gotten much of an upgrade, and he's kind of like the only the only engine that keeps the Bengals going right now. I was thinking AJ Green, but AJ Green is injured right now, so I feel like Joe Mixon would fit the bill for that one. Now, next on the list for the Browns, I got Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett only has an 83 overall card as soon as we can find him down here, and I think he's right in line for an upgrade. Obviously, I don't think they give it to Baker Mayfield yet because he has the NFL epics. I think Miles Garrett definitely needs a card. He's been playing pretty well in real life. Now, for the Cowboys, this one was hard. The Cowboys was between multiple players. We had Jalen Smith, obviously, Amari Cooper, Sean Lee. But I ended up going with Zach Martin. I, it, it was tough. It's probably going to be wrong. There's so many options here. But Zach Martin got a card, I think, last year from Mud Hero. So, at least I know the um, there's been a history there. Now, for the Broncos, I went with Chris Harris. Chris Harris always gets a promo card for the Bron oh, for the when he's a Any promo, the Broncos get a Chris Harris card. I'm not even kidding. I always feel like he has 100 cards. I don't think it'll be Lindsey. I don't think it'll be Kareem Jackson. I don't think it'll be Sanders. I think best bet is um, was either Bradley Chubb or Chris Harris, and Bradley Chubb already has a card. Now, for the... I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit. So, Lions, I went Marvin Jones. I wanted to go Kenny Galladay, but he doesn't have a base elite card, and I pretty much did this off base elites. Could it be Matt Stafford? Maybe, but you know, I wasn't really feeling that one. And then for the Packers, we got David Bakhtiari. We definitely need linemen in this promo, and I feel like the Packers are the perfect fit for a lineman mud hero. They're not going to give us a Rodgers. They're not going to give us a Devontae Adams or an Aaron Jones. We just got all three of those cards this week within the last two weeks. So I feel like it have to be a David Bakhtiari card. That seems about right. Now for the Texans, again, we just got a Deshaun Watson card. We just got a DeAndre Hopkins card. And I don't think we'll be getting a Lamar Miller because he's out for a year or a Justin Reed. So I think it has to be J.J. Watt, in my opinion. Jadavion Clowney got traded. I think J.J. Watt at least is one of the two top candidates. Like if it's not him, I'd be surprised. I wouldn't even know who another guy would be, but there's not many candidates on the Texans, in my opinion. Now for the Colts, it was between T.Y. Hilton and Darius Leonard, and inevitably I ended up going with Darius Leonard. He was a uh, defensive rookie of the year last year. Awesome card. Quentin Nelson just got a card, so I feel like Darius Leonard fits the bill. Outside linebacker, we needed one of those. I don't really think it'll be T.Y., but if it is T.Y., then that means I have to change some other guys, because I kind of... It was between him on a few other teams, too. You'll understand what I'm saying soon. For the Jaguars, it could be multiple guys. I want to say it's not going to be them, because I'm kind of hoping it's Jalen Ramsey, which is who I have. But it could be A.J. Bouye. It could be Andrew Norwell. It could be multiple guys here. Telvin Smith just got a card. I'm going to go with Jalen Ramsey, but it could be Calais Campbell. It could be A.J. Bouye or Ramsey, but I'm hoping it's Ramsey. That's my guess right there. Now, for the Chiefs, it won't be Mahomes. I don't think it'll be Kendall Fuller. I mean, it could be Kendall Fuller. I'm really hoping that it's Tyree Kill. We have not gotten a single Tyree Kill card this year. Obviously, he's hurt. But Tyreek Kill hasn't been too useful because he's not. there's other cards just as fast and way better than him. So I'm hoping we get our first Tyreek Kill card, our first upgrade on him. 
Could it be Tyron Matthew? Yes. Could it be Kendall Fuller? Yes. But I'm hoping that it is Tyreek Hill. Now, next on the list, we got the Chargers. And for the Chargers, I had Casey Hayward. Now, it could be Joey Bosa or Melvin Ingram. But I'm kind of hoping it's Casey Hayward. I know it can't be Keenan Allen because he just got a card. But Casey Hayward would be pretty cool. He got a promo card pretty early last year. But he didn't get one this year. So I'm kind of thinking it could be him. Now, for the Rams, I was hoping Cooper Cup, right? So I'd really like Cooper Cup for the Rams, but knowing Madden, they'll give it to Brandon Cooks. So I went with Brandon Cooks as the Mud Hero card. It could also be a Keep Tlaib, but I'm feeling kind of Brandon Cooks or Cooper Cup or Keep Tlaib. But I'm going to go with Brandon Cooks because I feel like Madden fan favorites would rather have a Cooper, I mean a uh, Brandon Cooks over Cooper Cup, although I'm a big fan of Cooper Cup. Now for the Dolphins, I'm just going to tell you guys, there's no elites on the Dolphins because Kenny Stills and Tunzel got traded. Fitzpatrick has a card and these, I don't even, and these cards are team diamond, like Jarvis Landry's on the Browns. Like, there's just literally no cards to choose for team captain. I'm going to go with Xavier Howard. He is a base gold, so he will not have a power-up, although they might eventually give him one. But for the time being, there's really no options there. Now, for the Vikings, this one was kind of tough. I wanted to say Adam Thielen or Anthony Barr, but I ended up going with Everson Griffin, only an 80 overall. Big team leader on the team defensively. I feel like he's in line for a card. Harrison Smith already has a card. Anthony Barr has a card. Everson Griffin and Thielen could use one, but I already went with a few wide receivers. Now, for the Patriots. For the Patriots, I'm going with this one's kind of tough i end up going with shaq mason because i don't i don't really feel like any of these cards are gonna get cards here and then shaq mason i believe has gotten to mud heroes in the past he feels right in line a solid defensive lineman honestly they could get james devlin too but knowing madden and the way the patriots use james devlin but i'll go shaq mason for this one all right this video is getting kind of long so let's speed this up just a little bit i'm gonna start doing a speed run after these two cards so for the saints Alvin Kamara. I, I just want to see a Kamara card. I've been dying to use Alvin Kamara in Madden, and they never have a good card for him. Hoping he gets his upgrade. And now for the Giants. You guys already know. You guys know. Saquon Barkley. It's got to be Saquon, right? I'll be upset if it's anyone else. I've been waiting for my first Saquon Barkley card. I need a stud Saquon Barkley to use in Madden. Hoping this is the one, guys. Now, quick little speed run for the Jets. Jamal Adams. Easy pick for me. It's either going to be him or Leonard Williams. But I'm hoping it is Jamal Adams. I didn't even think about it because I'm hoping because I want to be able to use a Jamal Adams in the game. I always love his cards. I know you guys will too. Now for the Raiders, I went with Rodney Hudson. Rodney Hudson was an easy pick. Again, not many guys in the Raiders you could really choose here. They're all legends. I think Rodney Hudson, center card. We need some linemen. That fits the bill for sure. Now for the Eagles, Fletcher Cox, team leader. Kind of fits the line of what I'd expect, what I'd want from a Mud Heroes card. Zach Ertz already has one. Carson Wentz already has a card. I think Fletcher Cox would be perfect for this. I don't even see him. There he is. All right, so now for the Steelers, I went with David DeCastro. It can't be James Conner, in my opinion. It won't be Juju Smith-Schuster. It won't be Ben Roethlisberger. So I feel like you got to go on the line at that point, and that will be David DeCastro or even Villanueva, but I'm going to go with DeCastro for now. Next is the 49ers. This one, I'm hoping it is George Kittle. I've been waiting for a new Kittle card to upgrade him. It could be Buckner, but I'm hoping it's Kittle. It won't be Sherman. I mean, it could be Garoppolo. I mean, Garoppolo or Kittle are both good options. Now, for the Seahawks, I had not picked a quarterback yet, so I did go with Russell Wilson. It could have also have been... I was between Russell Wilson and, I believe, Bobby Wagner, but I'm going to go with Russell Wilson. We need a quarterback. Russell Wilson card is having really... We haven't gotten any love on that yet, except for his theme diamond. Now, for the Buccaneers, it really just has to be one guy. It's got to be Mike Evans, right? I doubt they'll do so. I'm going to go with Mike Evans. Top receiver in the league. He needs to have some love. Get some cards. Next on the list, guys, we're down to the last two teams. We got the Titans and the Redskins for the Titans. I went with Kevin Bayard. He's a defensive leader on this team. Doesn't have very good cards. I can easily see him getting one. And then finally, guys, while well, this was a mouthful, the Redskins, they got, in my opinion, I think they will be using Kerrigan as their theme diamond. I can't see it being... I Maybe Sheriff was definitely a close one, but Jordan Reed's always hurt. He's currently hurt. I'm going to go Kerrigan, guys. Guys, that was a mouthful. So, to wrap it up, I'm excited for the Saquon potentially, the Kamara potentially, a few cards on this list, obviously. Come back to this video in a week, and let's see how our predictions did. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell. Let's get a like on this video, drop 200 likes on this video, boys. Greatly appreciate all the support. And to recap for you guys real quick, solo challenges, sets, potentially sidekicks, and next Friday. These are my predictions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.